And uh, as as far as erasure coating sizing, how how do you work with customers to determine the right erasure coating method for them? There, there are a lot of key uh, inputs that we try to look for if we can get them, AJ, uh, when, when, when trying to uh, design the best erasure coating protection scheme or policy for their deployment. Uh, first and foremost, of course, as we mentioned earlier, we try to look, look, take a look at the, uh, the file size. Does it fall in that range where erasure coating makes sense for, for their use case? And if the answer, of course, to that is yes, then we, then we move on to, you know, what kind of failure modes are you willing to tolerate? What kind of availability and durability do you need to have for the data that resides in the system? And, and that's going to give us some insight uh, as to what kind of protection scheme they want to use. And, and of course, we want to know what kind of efficiency they're targeting too. And we, we have to take all those inputs and, and we, we basically have to iterate to, you know, what amounts to the most optimized approach for what they're trying to do for what they, what they plan to deploy. But those are the inputs we look for typically. Yeah, and, and I mean, this does look rather complex, but this is all policy based, correct? You, you kind of pick an erasure coding scheme, replication scheme in the life of the data, and then you just set the policy and the system takes care of it, correct? There, there right. isn't this manual, continuous manual management of protection policies. That's right. And, and, and policy isn't just locked in at the global cluster level. Uh, you, you can have uh, these policies set the, in a different fashion down at the domain level, for example. Uh, and, and, you know, depending on the nature of the data and the domain or for, for different uh, entities or, or applications or, or even business units that may be using it, they, they may have different schemes associated with, with the data that they're putting in the system, depending on their requirements. And, and, and again, that's the flexibility that we bring to the table. And it's certainly that automated flexibility that we bring to the table to assist with scaling this solution to a very large pool of data.